Hi guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Garmin S62 Golf Watch. Now what I do get fed up about is when you look on YouTube, you see a lot of pros being very biased towards a product. But when you're spending £399 on something like this, you want to make sure it's right for you and get the honest opinion. I'll give you the honest opinion, so if you do like my video, please like, subscribe, keep following me and thank you for watching. Okay, so once you've got your watch out, you'll notice that it has got large straps here which is good because if you have got big wrists like myself, it will fit around there nice and easy. Now, what I would say, these straps are, in my opinion, a little bit um, plasticky. You can get better straps if you wish. Just look on Amazon or eBay and you will find something on there. It's got a 1.3 inch touch screen. Now you will notice the light does go off. That's how I've set it up to be, just to save the battery time. And you can have it longer if you wish. It's got a 1.3 inch touch screen, which is very responsive. And also it's got a scratch proof bezel. Now on the touch screen, you can um, change the face if you wish. Um, this one is a friend's company of mine called Maintain It. So I leave that on there. Um, but I'll show you an app later on that you can use um, just to uh, set up a new face if you wish. It's got three buttons on the side here, which I'll talk to you about later on. Then at the back here, it's got your oxygen and heart level monitor, and then it's got your charging point just here. What I would say as well, in my opinion, it is a little bit thick, but when it sits on your wrist, it doesn't hamper your golf swing at all. Right, let's go through the bullet points on this watch. <laughs> Okay guys, so I was going to go out on the course just to show you a demo of what it's like, but unfortunately it's pouring down with rain. So what we'll do, we'll go into the demo on this watch. It is a little bit different, but I will explain as we go along. So just quickly, before we do go into the golf mode, a good feature about this watch is if you do get telephone calls or a text message, it will come up onto the, the face itself, but you cannot answer it via the watch. You need to go onto your phone to answer or send a message back. So if I make a call now, there we have it, it's come up home. So you need to get your phone out your bag or your pocket and then you can answer the call. As I said, that's exactly the same with a text message as well. Okay, we'll delete that now. Okay, so the three buttons I was talking about earlier, you've got the top button is to go into the golf mode. This is settings and the bottom one is a back. So if we click into settings now, you've got four different options there. The two main ones I use here is the wallet on the left-hand side, because that's for Garmin Pay. Set it up, then you can go into the shops and pay for all your the bits that you've bought. And then if you go into settings, you've got your golf settings, your watch faces, sensors and accessories, phone connected, user profile, notifications and alert, activity tracking and systems. So if we just quickly go back to watch faces, I've got a few faces stored here. And then you can do your own. As I said, I've, I've used my friend's um, business here. So you can set up your own or you put your own picture on and put it on there as your face. So we go back and now we're gonna go into the four buttons here. Here it will give me the swing tempo, walk, run, stopwatch, timer, alarm clock and find the phone. Right, okay, we're gonna go into the golf mode now. Okay, so unfortunately, as we're inside, it won't detect any uh, courses. If we go to skip, that'll give me the demo. We'll go onto a golf course. Let's go on to Barn on C. We want to keep the score. We'll go off whites, and there you have it. Okay, so it's telling me it's 397 to the green, 405 to the back, 3888 to the front. Now, if you are up high when you're about to do your golf swing and you think it's a little bit shorter or a bit longer, this hole, just click on the side here and an arrow will turn up. Now, it's telling me this hole is playing like 390. As you can see, it did say 397, but it's actually playing like 390. If you click onto the map itself, 
it'll tell me there's a bunker there on the right hand side it's three four seven three five seven to the back keep going down you've got two eight nine with a hundred layup two four one with a hundred and fifty layup one nine four with a two hundred layup and it's telling me there's also another bunker on the left hand side which is three hundred and sixty one yards away you can click on the map again um, I don't use this bit, but it zooms in to the uh, hole itself, and then you can move it to where you want. But that's something that I don't use. If we go back now, so when you're on the green, it will automatically come up with your score to put your score in. So if I just go onto it now on these options, go onto the scorecard, hole number one, this would also automatically come up when you're on the green. So then you'd put your score in. I did it on a five. I two putted and I did hit the fairway, no penalties. And then once you've done that, it would automatically go to hole number two. So you don't need to go in, into any of these um, features to hit it. It will automatically go into your scorecard. When you move off the, off the green, it will go onto the next hole. If you want to view the green, press that, it will tell you where the flag well you can move where the flag is front middle or back but move it to the back here if you do pay um a subscription i think it's something like eight pound 99 it will show you the undulations on the green that's again something that i don't use you got your pin pointer so if you've never played this hole before so another message has come through there let's get rid of that If you've never played this um, course before, it will tell you um, where the green is. So it's telling me it's 399, just slightly to the right. It could be a dog leg hole, but it is telling me the green is in that direction. Go back again and it won't pick it up now, but it's also got the wind. So you click in the wind, it will tell you how fast the wind's going. If it's southwest, 14 miles an hour, it will tell you that as well. Got your round info your last shot your club stats save location sunset and sunrise and end the round now there's one thing i forgot to tell you the most important thing about the watch is this one has a good feature called virtual caddy unfortunately it's not going to detect what club to use you need to do five rounds first so on here you would press the button when you're teeing off and it'll tell you to either use a driver or uh, a four or five iron once you've hit your shot, you walk up to your ball, press it again, then it'll tell you what club to use again. But like I said, you need to do five rounds bef first before it detects what club you can use. Very good feature and very handy to have. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go onto the apps on my phone and I'll show you, um... right, so I'm gonna show you the three apps that I use for this watch. One of them you will find really interesting, and that is how far you hit each club. Um, but like I said, you need to do five rounds first. This is in the Garmin Connect app. So I'll click into it. It'll tell you all your heart rates, etc. I don't really use this app too much, but if you click up the top here, then it will show you all the courses I've played. You know, some say 27 miles, because I've done three rounds in that day for charity. So if I click into one of them now, it will tell you how long it's taken, how many calories. It shows you the map of where you've walked as well. But again, I don't really use this one too much. If you go into the Garmin Connect IQ, you can change all your faces. Most of them are free. You get the odd one or two. Really good app to use if you do want to change your face. You can do your own design as well. As I said, I've got my friend's one on, but if I want to change it, I'll take a picture of my TV now, click there, I'll add it to my watch, and then you can change the dials on it, which I'll do now, and then I can have that on my phone if I wanted. I won't have that one. Okay, so the best app that I'm going to use now is the Garmin Golf. I'll go back here, I can show you now, so I can show you all the distance I hit my clubs. I'm not a, a, a brilliant golfer, I'm playoff 18, so these are all my distances. And the averages. Delete that message. 
and then I can go on to course stats. So it's telling me I'm a 16.88 handicap. If I go to the view, the round here, to show you that bit, go to view round now, click on that. You can say, you can see where I'm hitting my ball. I'm hitting quite a few to the right there. Showing you my longest drive, the approach shots. And then if I go to course stats, I'm gonna go into the Ashley Wood. You can see here my longest drive. And then if I click on this part here, August the 1st, I've done this round 37 Stapleford points. If I go to hole number four, so hole number three, sorry, it shows you what club I use for every shot. Hole number four, you can see I, I two putted there for a three, and it can show you there the clubs that I used again. Again, so this is a great app to use, well worth having. So what do I think of the watch? Um, I think 399 it is quite expensive uh, for what it is. As I said, there are two negative points to it. It is a little bit bulky. Um, I don't like the straps. I do find them a little bit plasticky. Some might like it, but that's just my opinion. Um, I forgot to tell you, if you've got it in GPS mode, the watch lasts for 20 hours. If you don't use a GPS, it's about 14 days. Um, but you are going to be using uh, the GPS because it is a golf watch. As I said, 399 is expensive. If you can shop around, look on eBay and get it for about 250 I would say that is a fair price. It's definitely helped my game. I've gone from a 26 down to an 18 in no time. And I do like the features. Um, so get your five rounds in. It will detect what club to use. And you'll find it really great to use. If you do like the video, please like, subscribe, keep following me. And thanks again for watching.